Hey, good morning. Chuck here at Apple Drains. Today we are in Lakeland, Florida, and we're working on a golf course community. If you happen to see the video I posted a week ago about uh, can you solve this problem, this is where we are. And what we're doing is exactly what that video showed. We are going to be installing a French drain along the street. It's going to come to where we're standing, to a sump pump, and we're going to pump it back to a storm drain. Let's take a look. So if you remember from the other video, I'm going to recap it for you. We've got a golf course community. You can see the golf course between the two homes back there. Water floods in the golf course. It comes up, and now it's coming all the way down this hill and coming out here at the walk. And it's just been doing this for years and years, <laughs> but the association wanted them to take care of this problem. And you can see it here, it's been dry now for nearly three weeks, but you can see the water where it still comes out from the sod here. And what's happening is water comes down the hill, and of course it's hitting this curb, which goes down quite deep, and it has no place to go, so it floods up and comes out onto the street. So we're going to dig a trench down there where Matt's at, and we're gonna put a sump pump in there temporarily. You see the bucket, I drilled some holes in it. And basically what we'll do is keep pumping this water out as we work. Um, and then we're gonna run French drain. We're gonna use both the styrofoam peanut pipe, easy flow, and gravel perforated pipe here. So let's go ahead and keep this. So if you look carefully here, you'll notice we put a sump pump down in a hole that we dug, and you can see it just kicked on. Of course it knocked the pump over, but it just kicked on so basically it's drying out this hole as we dig hopefully we can continue to grab water right here as we dig because otherwise this whole excavation which is about 80 feet is going to be a tough excavation because it's underwater so we're making good progress you can see our trench and you notice the water is already coming through that trench it's starting to run down here because it's coming downhill to the sidewalk and it's an interesting problem. Um, we've dug a couple holes. I did find what we call a curb drain. There's a four inch perforated pipe surrounded by gravel that did run through here. And of course, that is collapsed and broken. And you'd say, yeah, why don't you just fix that? Well, that curb drain runs the length of the street and you just see where it turns down there. <laughs> it could be anywhere down through there. So we could do that if the association wanted to pay whatever, you know, to do that. We'd replace all this line. And we actually dug a couple holes over here to make sure we found the pipe here. We found it over here. And again, it's, it's, it's just collapsed right here, um, probably from the day one when they put it in. So again, you can see this water flowing nicely down to our sump basin, if you can see that. Let's see if we can zoom it in there a little bit. See the water flowing? It's coming down here to our temporary sump pump, right here. And of course, when that float comes up, it kicks it out onto the street. We just need to have this, try to get as much out of here as possible so that we can dig. And over where Joe's at, you can see the pump just kicked on, and it kicks on frequently, so <laughs> a lot of water. but. Over where Joe's at, we're going to put our sump basin. Looks like he already found some irrigation right there. So we'll have to be underneath of that, and we will. Um, but back where he's standing, where you see his feet, is where the basin's going to go. And you've seen our basins before, one over there. We're going to double them so it's quite deep. Difficult area, tunnel the sidewalk, something you guys can do. I've showed you how to do that many times. It's really not that hard to do. And... <clears throat> So our French drain is coming down. It's gonna turn and come over to our sump basin. And then we're gonna be in the same trench with the discharge, the inch and a half pipe from the pump will come out and it's gonna run, push it all the way back up to where you see Dan digging up there in the blue shirt. That's where the storm drain is. I'm getting ready to tunnel that uh, drill in, core into the storm drain. So we're gonna use our Bosch hammer drill. <laughs> this is a, they, they call it a half inch an inch and a half hammer drill. Um, <clears throat> we've got a two inch bit at the end. It has diamond core tips on the end of it. And as we drill, it'll cut that concrete and it also hammers so it busts through at the same time. A good distance, it's about eight inches of solid concrete across here. And then we'll let it come out and it'll just run down into the drain itself. And there's the storm drain. So let's go ahead and start with. So I let Matt take over on the hammer drill. <clears throat> He's getting closer. It's slow going, we get stuck in a small trench, but this is still something you guys can do. It does wear you out a little bit. It takes about 20 minutes to go through you know, six or eight inches of concrete, but you will get through. 
and he's getting real close. I'll show you here in just a second. Meanwhile, we're going to go ahead and line our trench with fabric. This is a drain filled fabric, very thin, allows water to come right through it. And we'll lay it out through here and then open it up. We're going to use both the Easy Flow, our peanut pipe, which I really like, and perforated and gravel in this system. And so over here, Joe's got the sump basin started, but you can see a lot of water clear back there into the yard. All that water comes from back here. It's backing this direction under the ground. And once we put all this together, we'll be able to take care of all this water. But he's tunneling the sidewalk right here. Um, a little tough because he's got the sprinkler line in the way. So it makes it just slow going, but we'll get it. So we finished our core. And you can kind of see how the system's going to go. I stuck it down into the storm drain. That's the inch and a half pipe. It goes right down through the, through the storm drain. And it's going to lay on top of our system. Remember, we're sending the French drain downhill to a sump basin where those guys are at the end of the driveway there. And it, it, we go under the walk to the basin. And then the sump pump, which is this inch and a half pipe, is coming all the way back, pushing it all the way back to where we are right here. Pretty simple. Um, you do need a good pump. We're using that Zoller M98 which should take care of this problem without any work. So you can see what we're doing. We've got this gravel that we got big bags of. This is limestone. That's what's available best in Florida. Um, if you're up north, you're probably going to get more of a granite or a, you know, a quarried stone. Limestone works good. It's not washed, but it does have big voids in it, and it does allow water to drain through it. They use that in drain fields. This is a drain field. You see how that's a mound in the yard. It's not just a hill coming down. The septic's up here, and if you understand how a drain field, some people up north say leach bed, but it's a drain field. And that water drains down through that gravel, and that's where all your septic water goes. We're using it the other direction. It's going to be the voids allowing water to flood up into our pipe, and once it goes into the pipe, it's carried away down to the sump basin where it's discharged back up to us. Okay, so I went ahead and re-drilled another hole because the first hole was a little too high. And you can see if you look through there, we go right through into the storm drain. Let's go ahead and slide a piece of pipe in so you can see. It goes right into the storm drain, real nice. Nice tight fit, no water leaking there at all. Let's look underneath here so you can see it. Remember, this is a curved drain. A storm drain is a curve. And you can see our pipe over there. It comes through and the, the actual drop of the storm drain is back there. So water is going to shoot across here and just run right back down into the, the basin where, where it's going to be taken across the street to another 18 inch pipe. So if you can see that, that's coming from the sump basin. It lifts it up and it sends it all the way back over here to the storm drain. Should work really good. So here's our completed install. If you remember the trench, we put the gravel, the perforated pipe, and we sent a, a pump that comes clear back up here to the storm drain. Put all the sod back on. Just a little bit of cleanup here at the back. And it comes out pretty good. Sod's going to settle quite nicely. And Dan's rinsing off the little bit of mud that's here on the side. We were going to put the pit over here. But there was so much water that as we dug this area, it began to collapse underneath. And we don't want to have a sinkhole. It was se severe, so much water that it just pulled the dirt into that hole. So we ended up putting the basin over here, which worked out really good. And he'll have to get an electrician. And they'll put this cord over and put the GFI over here on this side. But it's already functioning really well. The area dried out completely and it's looking really good. And because this was so much wet sand and soil in our little, uh, whatever this is, six by 10 trailer, it, I even put added more air, but it's a lot of weight. So remember, we're coming back from Orlando. We're in Lakeland. It's about an hour and 45 minute drive and on the freeway, we don't want to have any problems. So graciously let us throw some excess over here um, in a low spot, which was really nice. So if you remember, can you solve this problem? Now you can kind of see <clears throat> what we do is we put a French drain down along the sidewalk between the sidewalk and the curb. It goes to a sump basin and that pump lifts it up and sends it all the way back to the storm drain. Remember we core drilled into the storm drain to let that come in very nice clean uh, hole. It's not like where you punch a hole with a sledgehammer. It's very nice, very clean, very tight. And storm drain ha has a discharge that comes across this way 
ties in it actually ties into this storm drain over here and it goes back to a retention pond in the back back there that same pond where the guys are emptying the trailer is where all of that storm water goes so perfect little uh, setup and the problem of course was that there is a curb drain here there's a four inch perforated pipe in every city in every community and it runs along side of the curb and that drains the curb to keep this area from fracturing as water builds up underneath of it it's one on that side as well and if you look closely you can see water comes out this side see the stains on the concrete curb does the same thing we know that that drain is also bad but will the association want to do something about that i don't know hey this is chuck with apple drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something i guarantee you can do it have a great day